Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. This is your reading for November 2019. This is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave the rest behind. And it could resonate differently from one person to another. Just saying. Okay, energies can be interchangeable as well as far as male and female, etc. Okay, got some new crystals. We're all excited about. Okay. Anyhow, uh, we're going to go get an energy card. I am going to uh, get a focus, see what from the Black Moon, uh, Black Moon Astrology. And see what messages come up here. God, Goddess, Angels, Archangels, Beings of the Light and the Great Divine, give me guidance as I am, as I deliver these messages for my fellow Capricorns. Please. What do we need to hear? do we need to hear? Ah, we start off with Black Moon Lilith Mystery. <sighs> Capricorns. There are some mysteries waiting to be uncovered for in November. Some secrets. This could also deal with um, the psychic realm, the spiritual realm. But that Black Moon Lilith she, I like to call her the bitch of the, of the astrology world because she could be vindictive also. Just, you want to keep in mind, Capricorn, what comes around goes around. Be mindful of your doings. Do not it wish ill, well, ill beings for anybody, okay? Um, because that can actually come back on you. Rem just remember the law, of, the law, the law of karma. Okay. You know, so you just kind of want to be careful about what kind of energy you put out. But she, is, she's bitter. She, she is bitter, and she's mysterious. So there's several layers to her so with the psychic realm or the spiritual realm and with combined with bitterness you have, you do need to be mindful of your thoughts and energies that you're putting out there okay Black Moon Lilith also has a cold heart. So don't let Capricorns, whatever you've gone through, don't let your heart grow cold. If that just leads to loneliness and despair. You want to leave yourself open to the possibilities. Playfulness. Hmm. A little bit risque. Um, this is somebody who wants to have fun. This is saying to have fun. Okay. Um, to let loose and have fun. Uh, and with Black Moon Lilith right there. Um, that's the first thing I thought of was risque. Um, 
I'm gonna flat out say maybe some sexual undertones. You know, some sexual pleasure. Uh, somebody might be having a little bit of fun. But what I'm being told by spirit is somebody who was hurt so deeply that their emotions might be turned off and they're all, somebody's in it for the sex. Uh, whoever that is for, somebody might be in it just for sex and that's it. They want no emotional attachment. Ooh. I just want the physical pleasures. Wow. That is pretty deep. Community. Oh, this is gonna sound so so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Capricorn. And I'm a Capricorn. But it's like somebody putting themselves out in the community into the dating scene, being a little bit risky, a little bit risque, and having fun in the dating scene. You know, but there is still a word of caution. It's like the black man Lilith, she is putting Caution to the wind. She is mysterious. She is not letting anybody close to her. She is scorned. And she turns off her emotions. She turns off her heart. And she just wants to have fun. Um, this is somebody who may who was scorned. Who may have turned turns into a player. Male or female. Could be somebody, like I said, I want the sex and that's it. And Keep the rest. This is the overall feeling I'm getting. Is somebody shutting off, closing their heart, and all they want to do is have fun. Um, Cindy Lauper, girls just want to have fun, is playing in my head. And it's not just that. It could be boys just want to have fun. That's what I feel like. I just want to have fun. I don't want the emotional attachment. That's the overall energy. Somebody shut down emotionally because they've been scorned. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these cards. Completely playing in my head now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay, what messages do we have for our Capricorn Sun Rising and Moon for November 2019? What messages for Capricorn? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. Right in the center. Somebody's concentrating on their wish. Somebody is appearing in this bowl. If you look into that cup, concentrating very deeply. Somebody is manifesting. Somebody, he almost looks like he is scrying. And he's concentrating on, he or she is concentrating on bringing forth their wish. Somebody wants to have fun. Somebody, you... Capricorn, maybe you're not the one that's looking at it as I just want to have fun and that's it. But somebody has a wish put out there to the universe. It's probably, 
And what I'm picking up on in spirit is that wish involves someone that is in it for the fun, in it for the games, is just playing and there don't no emotional attachment. That other person may be may feels like they're not emotionally available. And somebody's putting a wish out there and concentrating on it, probably to change that person. Ugh. And the phrase, be careful what you wish for. We have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a very swift, fast-moving energy. If somebody comes in and, and with force, it, it, knights bring changes. And this knight brings a change very forcefully, very quickly. So he is the fastest knight in the deck. And then next one in line is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Swords. is masculine so there's definitely some kind of masculine energy here this might be a male wanting to tame a female I'm just saying that's what I'm feeling could be a male Capricorn wanting to tame that female but it could be also re be reversed it could be the female wanting to tame the male okay but this is a masculine energy it comes rushing in and it's like the it's the tower of the minor arcana Okay, you don't see them coming. So I feel like so, somebody's putting their wish out there and maybe they're not careful on how they're wording it, but it seems like wish fulfillment coming all of a sudden out of the blue. You don't even see it. Don't see it. You don't see it coming. It's like it blindsides you. There's the eagle up here and he doesn't see the eagle because the eagle's swooping in really quick and he doesn't see, he doesn't see it coming. I placed that there. Did that, that for a reason. Um, and below we have <laughs> funny. It's this is it's the fairy stallion, aka the chariot. Fast moving energy. So somebody, Somebody is trying to master and control. This is a fast-moving energy, but it's also about control. Somebody underneath it all is trying to control their emotions as this, whatever it is, is coming in very quickly. I think somebody is wishing for something, and once it's coming in, it's like they're trying to master their emotions. Uh... I just keep feeling that you got to be careful what you wish for. I don't know why I'm saying that. But so, that's for somebody. Might be for a couple people. And we have the Six of Wands, which is victory. Being recognized for their accomplishments. Feeling on top of the world. And we have the Three of Wands. The three of wands making plans, uh, an addition to the family. Um, it's, it involves three souls right now is what I'm feeling. So, or multiple people. And as I was meditating today, I know this is late in all my whole series for November for all the signs. But spirit showed me this is the general energy. This should be partner one, partner A, and partner B. One person here is very much feeling free, feeling victorious. Okay, feeling on top of the world, and I'm feeling like there are secrets and things hidden underneath. And that somebody, one of these partners is a player and they have multiple people involved and the wish is to harness this person. Okay. 
Hmm. Let's see what else comes up here. We have the world and the three of pentacles. So we definitely have a party of three. Okay. So one of these persons is definitely a player and the other person knows that they're a player. And I feel like they're putting this wish out there to harness this person, you know, to tame the beast. Okay. And what I'm feeling here with the world card is an end of a cycle. A completion and what spirit is saying to me is you've got to watch about trying to exert your will on others um, whoever that is for We definitely have a situation here where there's more than one person involved. More than two people involved. There's multiples because the one person just wants to have fun. They've been scorned in the past and they don't want anything to do with emotional attachment. So I'm feeling like there, we have two people here that are on totally different pages. Really do. I want two different things. And what I am hearing in spirit is... You can't force something. You're, you're concentrating on, you're trying to manifest something. Um, but Spirit's saying it might end up not being what you really want. That is why you have to be careful what you wish for. Okay. I'm not sure which partner you are. You know, there are... You might be the person that's having fun and some your other person, partner wants a more deeper commitment and they're putting a wish out there. You know, uh, I mean, this could go many ways. Okay, why is the... Why is the world card here, please? Why is the world card? I, I want to know what's completing. Okay, the ending of being... Ha ha. Okay, now it's becoming even more clear. The ending of being deprived or being left out in the cold. So somebody's putting their wish out there and they just might get it. Okay, there is definitely a third party. 3-3 three, three is screaming multiple partners. Okay, somebody is definitely a player. And the other person is feeling like they are being left out in the cold. But they're going to be feeling victorious because it feels like... Uh, let's see, let's get another one... This is somebody from the past. Okay. They, uh, it feels like a past energy, a childhood energy. This may have been an obsession from the past. Just saying. <laughs> Capricorn. An obsession from the past. But this per other person is, is enjoying singlehood. And they're non-committed right now. Mm. But that cycle could be ending. You could be getting your wish. Why is the three of wands here, please? We have the page. Somebody is... Somebody is acting extremely immaturely. It's, they feel like they're acting like they're back in high school. That's what I'm feeling with that page. Okay, very emotional. It's like juvenile emotions, immature emotions, okay? And it feels as though that there is some, the partner over here, and I'm throwing cards for, 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 the, for partner B, whoever partner B is, there is a very immature um, attitude, wanting to play the field, Uh, what comes around goes around. It feels like they've been around quite a bit and giving out their goods. Take that however you will, okay? Get putting out the goods. Wheel of Fortune with Destiny, Ace of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, 
But we have this over here. You know what? These cars fell out over here, and that's where I'm going to leave them. So I think that's where they were meant. Because over here we have somebody really, somebody spreading the wealth. And being very immature, think, acting like they're back in high school, being non-committal, enjoying the single life. They just want to have fun, and that's it. And then underneath all this, we have the other person putting out this wish. A wish for a commitment. A wish for this other person to come towards them and be committed. And their wish is coming in very fast, and they don't see it coming. It's like the tower moment. Shocking. And I don't think it turns out exactly the way that they are expecting. But there is a new start, a new growth, destiny taking control underneath it all. This is destiny, this is destiny, divinely guided. Okay. Um, okay, Spirit is telling me something else, Capricorns. That your wish fulfillment may not lie with this person. Because of the not being specific there's always a way you have to be careful how what you wish for and how you word it but however I do feel like destiny is taking control bringing you a gift of a new suitor I feel like there's three people on there's a third party on this side and there's one coming on your side Capricorn okay I feel like this is Capricorns and this is your partner that's the way I keep seeing it, okay? And I'm feeling as though the I was wondering what the Three of Pentacles was here for. The Three of Pentacles is signifying somebody is being single. You want to work together. You want an equal partnership. You want to work as a team. And, you know, equal playing field. But somebody is playing out the singlehood card. You know, it's, they're non-committal. And this is about standing up f for yourself. St you know, you don't have to deal with this, Capricorn. This is about standing up for what you deserve and what you believe in. Not settling, okay? The universe, I feel, is working behind the scenes. Destiny is that work behind the scenes going to bring you a golden opportunity, a golden gift, and it's going to bring love to you. And I do not feel it's this person here. I honestly do not feel like it's this person that you've been wishing for. I think your wish, however you worded it, is going to play out differently. And it's going to involve bringing something new, someone new to you. So this is what I have for you, um, Capricorn. Please do make sure you like and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber share my videos for those you think may benefit and i will see you next time